What's up, chat? Hello, everybody. So yeah, we're just gonna be doing Bloodborne today. I was thinking about doing another bonus game or two, but I'm like pretty worn out. So I'm I'm just gonna do Bloodborne today. It's gonna be a pretty long run anyways. finish the marathon, man. We haven't beaten Bloodborne. I'll be right back <clears throat> in a minute. Hello, Chippa. Alright, Super Serpent. You can have a time out for a day. I'll be right back, guys.
What's up, chat? I am back. Hello, Moloch. Hey, Pogarithmic, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. You're not feeling good? Yeah, I'm a little worn out too. Had a bit of a stomach ache today. Hey Gabriel, thank you for the 13 months. I was gonna do like extra bonus games today, but I just, I don't know. I feel like it's best just to do Bloodborne. I can take my time and... Not worry. start when I'm ready which will be in a little bit good night Oipa <sighs> yeah I wanted to finish Bloodborne last night but it just ended up getting too late so I thought I'd I just ended up I just want to do it today. Without bonus games, we can stall to our heart's content. True. All right, oh, Ain, are you here? Is Ain here? Change, change your audio on your damn OBS. Or, like, reinstall your OBS or some shit, bro. I can't watch you on my damn TV. Ain's fucking stream is broken on Twitch on... on um, <clears throat> if you watch it on a TV... His audio just cuts out like 80% of the time. It's only in stream. It's the most cursed thing ever. And you know, it's funny because I had just bought a new TV in my room. And I remember I was watching Ain and I was like, the speaker's already broken? What the fuck? And then. I went on my PC, and then like, I went on my PC, checked your stream, or whatever, and it was fine, and then we, and then, 
I like checked it on my phone. It was fine. I was like, this is bullshit. And then I think I said something in your chat and people were like, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, in, in stream just doesn't work on certain TVs. <laughs> you couldn't figure out what it was? Okay, to be honest, Ain, it doesn't seem like you've tried to fix it either. <laughs> I'm I'm just telling the truth, okay? I I can't say I I would also probably <laughs> I, I I would probably do the same thing. Never happened to you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not every TV. It's just certain like TV models apparently. My stream is delayed on TV. Everybody's stream is delayed on TV, man. <clears throat> no more stream rewinding. I don't know, I turned off the YouTube VODs because I don't, I don't know if that's gonna hurt my YouTube channel having the live VODs on or not. I don't know. If you want to watch the VODs, just watch them on Twitch. I guess. The, the VOD will also be posted on my, my VODs channel on YouTube. Distortion 2 VODs. Others on TV are delayed, but yours is more delayed? Okay, I don't know, man. I have low latency on. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, your latency to the broadcaster... Does your location affect your latency to a specific broadcaster? I don't actually know. Not really sure how like the networking works in terms of uh, Twitch. Hello, Satemo. Like, I mean, for example, I'm streaming on like the sh uh, Chicago Twitch servers, but I don't know if that would affect like somebody watching from another region. I don't know. Shadow of the Colossus one. I was thinking about doing Shadow of the Colossus. I'll be honest, Chad, I don't feel like 100% today. I woke up with like a pretty bad stomach ache and yeah, I just, I don't feel like 100%. So I'm gonna take it easy and just do Bloodborne today. I'm okay, chat. I feel better now. I'm just saying, like, I... I'm okay. I'm ready I'm ready to do Bloodborne. I just... I don't want to go till, like, 3 a.m. again, that's all. Hey, Raymo, thank you for the three months. 
Also, Shiny Pockets, thank you for the 34 months. Hey, David. Uh, I was also thinking, I, this Bloodborne run, genuinely chat, could be one of the longer Bloodborne runs that I've ever done, because... <clears throat> hey, Shane, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I'm doing extend- I'm doing whip only in Bloodborne, which means I can only use the extended form of the cane. And you know what that also means? There's no charge R2s, no backstabs. Uh... So yeah. It's gonna be kinda... Yeah, I'm also gonna use the Beast Cutter. But the beast, the beast Cutter functions the same way, I believe, when you have it in the transform mode. Okay, thank you so much for the 10 gifted sub, Shane. <laughs> I'm glad you're not using the saw cleaver, Ain. Dude, in my... So you already killed Vicar Amelia, right? I think, or yeah, you did. Um, I, dude, I remember my first playthrough, I died to Vicar Amelia like 10, 15 times. I don't know, I think I was using the rifle spear or maybe, I can't remember what I was using, but anyways, I was struggling so bad. And then I watched Sanso. I don't know if you know Sanso, Ain, but anyways. I watched this dude doing his first playthrough. He used... He used a fire paper and a beast blood pellet. And he literally just spammed R1 and the boss died. And I was like... Fuck, man. <laughs> I... <laughs> I felt like a Twitch viewer at that point, you know? It's like... I struggled so hard with that fight and you killed it. It fucking instantly. <laughs> but anyways, the, I'm not, this isn't even really giving props to Sanso. It's just this the saw cleaver is so fucking OP. I hate it. And when it, dude, there was I've watched f several people now play through Dark Souls three. They use the twin blades and they're like, Dark Souls 3 is the easiest Souls game. It's like, you are fucking using the best weapon in the game. Shut the fuck up. Like, fuck off, dude. It, it triggers me so much. It's like, Dark Souls 3 is so easy. Yeah, well, <laughs> yep, use the Black Knight Halvern in Dark Souls 1, it's pretty easy too. Hey, Giddy, uh, Giddy Ohana, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> they didn't know it was the best weapon in the game. Some of them definitely did. I mean, to be fair, chat, there's a lot of, like, really OP weapons in every game. It's not like there's just one that's, like... Well, I mean, there's obviously... There's there's generally one that's, like, the best. But there's a lot of, op there's a lot of OP stuff. But yeah, it just... It, it, it makes me sad watching somebody do first playthrough and their chat basically backseats them into using the speedrun weapon because they know what the best weapon is. So it's like, oh yeah, you, oh, you, there's a, you make sure to, gr make sure to check this area coming up before Demon of Song. Oh, now they have the Red Iron Twin Blade. Now they shit on everything. <laughs> Use what's the most fun. Yeah, I mean, like, if somebody, it's more so just chat. I don't know, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting sidetracked here. I like watching people suffer on their first playthrough. Or I like watching people actually have a challenge, I guess is what I should say. 
I don't want... I. Uh, that's why I was, I was enjoying watching you, Ayn, because you're not just blasting through everything. With the saw cleaver. <clears throat> I didn't call him shit. That is not what I said. <clears throat> Ain's using the rifle spear, chat. The literally the worst weapon in the fucking entire game. <laughs> I didn't do shit, Ain. I just said try the charge R2. I did not say it was poggers. You even read what I told you. I said this is the worst weapon in the game. I hate it. And you read that message. So I'm not this is <laughs> this is slander. But it's funny because I actually used the rifle spear on my first playthrough. That was the weapon I used most of my first playthrough. Uh, it's just after playing Bloodborne for thousands of hours, it's the weapon I hate the most. The Charger 2 is like giga casual friendly though. Hey Fart King, thank you for the 28 months. The rifle spear was good when I did my first playthrough. If you're talking about the arcane scaling glitch that allowed the gun to do like 5,000 damage, I didn't do that on my first playthrough. Because that's the only difference with the rifle spear. Nothing else was changed. Hey, not dirt, thank you for the two months. But yeah, the, the rifle spear used to have a glitch where uh, it would basically, if you put a gem in that added like blood tinge damage or something, it would apply the damage to every single pellet that the gun shot. And it shot like 20 pellets or something because it's like a shotgun when you shoot the rifle spear. So you would do like five, ten thousand damage with one rifle shot. I never did that though. They never changed the actual melee damage of it, though. It was just the glitch. It wasn't nerfed, it was a glitch, guys. I mean, it wasn't supposed to do that much. All right, we're going to boot up Bloodborne in a minute or two here. We've been stalling for long enough. I mean, we, we got all day to play Bloodborne, so I'm not too worried. Like, I'm, I'm just going to take my time with Bloodborne. I don't want to feel like I'm rushed at all, so it'll be fun. And depending on how the run goes, I mean, maybe we could do, like, Chalice Dungeons or something. We'll see. Thing is, if I want to do Chalice Dungeons, I'm going to have to do three playthroughs, which is kind of annoying. Actually, I don't know if you need to do three playthroughs. Normally, you do the playthroughs to get the red jelly. But I'm not sure... I think you can get the red jelly <clears throat> uh, from Chalice Dungeons or something. I don't know. Because <clears throat> you need four for the Great Thumeru. Uh, or the... Yeah, I know you can get get it from within them. I'm pretty sure I'd have to go into the Great Is Chalice in order to get enough red jelly because you need... In order to do the Great Thumeru E-Hill Dungeon, and I, I need four red jelly. E 
Yeah. Just for the story chalices? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, my music... My music ended. Can't you just buy them? I don't think you can buy red jelly. Or, wait, wait, no, you, uh, let's see. You can, can be purchased from the insight messengers for five insight after conducting the ritual for great Thumeru evil chalice. Oh, yeah. So after, <laughs> after you make the chalice that need, or after you create the dungeon that needs four red jelly, then you get the ability to buy red jelly, but at that point you don't need to buy it anymore, so. I know you can kill a Thumerian Queen, but you have to loot Lecture Hall, and then you have to do the Great Is Chalice, which has two red jelly in it, which is what I was saying. And then you need to go to layer... what is it? Layer 3? Because then you can get enough red jelly to do Yar Yarnum. I don't know if we'll do the chalices, though. Honestly, they're gonna be kind of pain. Well, we'll see. We'll see how the run goes. I really don't know how, I, I've, this is a run that I've never actually done in Bloodborne. I've, I've done Kane only, and Kane is actually a pretty fucking good weapon. Um, if you socket it and get your skill up really high, but. <clears throat> you know, normally that's with backstabs. Not being able to backstab is gonna make like orphan kind of shit. I mean, I guess I can still parry. Could use the beast cutter instead, but the the beast cutter has the same problem, doesn't it? Can you can you actually backstab with the, the extended form of it? I don't think you can. Well yeah, it's not the cane, but <laughs> people are acting like, oh yeah, just use the beast cutter to solve that, but that doesn't solve anything. It's just a different form. But I am going to use the Beast Cutter. What's up, dude? Hand. Hello, good luck mode. Have I played Elden Ring PvP? I have. Not that much of it, though. I'm not a big PvP fan. Kane is bad. I'll fight you on that. Kane is not bad. Kane is bad starting. Kane is bad early on, in my opinion. It's kind of lackluster, but. <clears throat> when you when you get a. When you get it stacked up, it's pretty good. Is it only bad starting because the cleaver's so good? It's just the damage is really low. And the scaling on it is pretty bad early on. When you like get it upgraded and you start pumping skill, that's when you start getting like a ton of damage with it. The charge R2 on Kane is actually decent. The axe is really good for uh, rally. A the the rally of the axe is so crazy. You get like 
25% of your HP back every hit. Thought I was taking today off. Well, I was going to, but my marathon went until 2 a.m. last night, and I didn't want to stay up until 7 a.m. doing Bloodborne, so I'm finishing Bloodborne today, like the splits show on the screen. Can't wait for me to get back to Lethal Company again. Yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for like a new patch. When am I gonna start? In just a minute. Honestly, yeah, we should we should get started. I'm just enjoying kind of chilling for a little bit. <clears throat> Watched my Spyro vid today. Uh, is that, are you the person who left the YouTube comment on my Spyro video? It's the first somebody put somebody posted a comment on my Spyro video. It's the first comment in like two years. <laughs> I just like. That's random. Hey, Warlord, thank you for the 23 months. <laughs> Here's to 2024 providing some sort of info on Elden Ring DLC, yeah. Yeah, I downloaded a 2B mod for uh, Ashley, but that'll have to wait until next marathon, I guess. I was gonna do RE4 today, but I just... I don't know, man. RE4 takes so fucking long, especially if you're watching the cutscenes and stuff. Just do separate ways. Yeah, let's play the game that I've finished once. Great idea, guys. I don't I don't even remember how to get through separate ways. <laughs> when am I going to start? I was gonna do more bonus games today, but God, I'm just like a fucking, just like a broken record today. I was gonna do RE4, but I didn't want it to take too long, so. <clears throat> I 
Uh, I have not bought the Jailbroken PS5 yet. I've just... I'll be honest, chat. I barely had time to do fucking anything. I, like, wake up, go on the computer, download games, mod, well, download stuff for the stream. Stream for 14 hours and then go to bed. I don't really have time to do anything. Exactly, and <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take a day off after this, or at the very least, I'm just gonna chill and maybe do some like lethal company with some people just for a few hours, just like a short stream, if anything. Depends how I feel. Short 10 hour lethal stream. I don't know, I kind of want like a new, uh, I'm hoping for like a new update. I think playing with mods is cool, but it kind of takes away... Like, I, I kind of like playing a game in its vanilla state. But, at the same time, I'm getting a little bored with, like, vanilla. I mean, I like some quality of life mods. There, there's, like, mods that add new moons and interiors and stuff, but they just don't feel... I mean, it just doesn't feel like it's part of the game, really. Like, it certainly feels like a mod, if that makes sense, I don't know. mod feels like a mod. Well, I guess I would like to see mods that actually have interiors that kind of fit the style of the game. The SCP the SCP one was actually pretty cool. I did like that one. Creeping on that one hour stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm gonna go refill my water bottle and then we're actually gonna start chat. I'll be back in a sec.
Okay, chat, I am back. Let's do some Bloodborne. It is time. It is actually time. Are you still here, Ain? <clears throat> Am I killing the queen? Uh, to be decided. We'll see how I feel. Didn't we hit a bonus game? No, I capped the bonus games at 12, so we're, we're done with all the bonus games. I was thinking about doing some extra ones today, but I just... I don't want to go till like 3am again. I'm, I'm just... I'm a bit worn out. I don't know, I'm getting old, I guess. <laughs> No, only up. Well, there was an option to vote for it, but nobody voted for it, so. Rest in peace, only up. Hey, Romelia, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Alright. <clears throat> uh, oh, I was just saying, uh, are you enjoying... <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. Are you enjoying Bloodborne so far? Except for the 30 FPS. <laughs> hey, Ashborn, thank you for the sub. Are you gonna play more tonight? Yeah, you have barely done anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you need a day off. Right yeah, place. no, I totally get that. <laughs> you home, did a pretty long stream. You need only unravel its mystery. And you were on my the TV like all day people. yesterday, buddy. Plus one viewer for you. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. All right. Yeah, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, Romelia. And Ashborn, thank you for the sub. All right, you know what? We'll name this one after you, Romelia, for the 10 gifted. Thank you. All right. What's the Souls cosplay gonna be? Uh, <clears throat> maybe the, the Bloodborne doll, maybe Ronnie, maybe the Hunter. Maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Patches. <No. laughs> Alexander. I'm going to cosplay as Rom. Am I going to do Bloodborne PSX? No. Do you agree Bloodborne is boring to speedrun and challenge run compared to the other souls? No. I think speedrunning Bloodborne is kind of cringe just because it's so RNG. I mean, I had fun with it at first, but like at top level, it's, it is just like pure RNG at this point. If you want to go for record. Um... Challenge runs are frickin' sick, though. Bloodborne's actually one of my favorite. It's not what cringe means. I mean... It's kind of subjective, I guess, but... It makes me physically cringe when I lose my runs to YOLO ROM. Or the Shadows of Yarnum. Well, there's the Shadows AI glitch, but... But yeah, I mean, I, th I think Bloodborne is one of the best games for challenge runs in the sense that every single weapon is unique. 
Well, for the most part, there's a few weapons that are like similar. For example, saw spear, saw cleaver, and saw. Uh, what the fuck is the other one called? Oh, scythe. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then like you have the cane and the beast cutter, I guess, which are kind of similar. But there's a lot of unique weapons, yeah. Think they patched wolf skip? No. You can make every weapon work? Yeah, pretty much. I hope you I hope you do like multiple playthroughs of Bloodborne in. You got to you got to do like an arcane playthrough. Arcane is cool. It's it's very weird stat like stat in Bloodborne, in my opinion. Same with Blood Tinge, but I like that you can actually make builds revolved around them. You know what's interesting, Ain? In this game, arcane scaling goes all the way up to 99. And you get the most arcane scaling going from like 80 to 90. You get, you get like 25% of all of your arcane scaling at like 80 to 90. It's ridiculous. I don't know if that's the exact... It's it's really t like up towards the high end. Yeah, it's the... Well, the hunter tools I'm talking about, yeah. But... Is an Elden Ring like that? Well, Elden Ring has pretty high scaling, but that's just because Elden Ring is... I'm pretty sure they just increased the caps for stats in Elden Ring because they knew that people would be hitting way higher levels given the scale of the game. I mean, I think when I ended my first playthrough, I was like level 200 or something. Maybe even higher. I can't remember. Dude, why are you guys spamming Resident Sleeper? I'm just gonna start timing you guys out. Hey, Joe Cool, thank you for the five months. Alright. Just sitting here talking about the game, having a good time, and <laughs> the dream is boring. Resident Sleeper. All right, let's start. What's up, Auntie? Hey, chaotic. Thank you for the three months. Uh, actually, wait. Uh, do I want to start? Military vet. Uh, I think we want to start professional. Maybe. I mean, we're not going to be using... I'm actually just gonna go lone survivor. The damage early on isn't really gonna make a difference with the stats, so. Hey, 50 cal coffee, thank you for the three months. You start with 420 blood echoes on this class, too. Beautiful. All right, let's get started. Hold on one sec.
And you're leaving? It's okay. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy. There's no 2B hairstyle chat. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> That's an ultra scuff 2B. Yeah, listen, man. There's just, there, there's no, I guess this might be a little bit better, but it's just, there's nothing that's really similar, you know? All right, anyways, we're just gonna start. Are there face accessories? Got, all right. You can put on glasses, yes. Can't put on like a face mask though. All right. Hey, Epic Boy Jesus, thank you for the five gifted. All right, chat, we are starting the frickin' run. We gotta, we gotta get going. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> 66 minutes, beautiful, yeah, I know. I thought you weren't marathoning more. I thought you guys knew how the marathon worked. I haven't finished Bloodborne yet, so what does that mean? Is the marathon over? It means you lied yesterday? I mean, I did say yesterday that I was gonna try to finish Bloodborne, but I'm playing Bloodborne today, so... I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to connect the dots, I know. All right, sorry. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm being a little rude. I'm sorry. You found yourself a hunter. Hey, little man. Thank you for the two months. Ten, ten FPS. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna have ten eighty p sixty FPS soon, chat. We're sometimes rude as well, yeah, but that's Twitch chat, it's to be expected. Uh, 
Hey, excess labs, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thousand dollar bloodborne machine, yep. I don't know, my camera got like stuck in the ladder there. It was weird. Hey, Guts Wrath, thank you for the four months, man. Arcane. Time for suffering. The cane in Bloodborne is good. The extended form only, not so good. No chat on video. Guys, the chat hasn't been on the stream for like four days. I'll go back this way. I'll go open up the shortcut right now. <clears throat> I kind of want to go to the sewers and get the cool hunter armor. No chat on screen is Sag. Yeah, I... I don't know, man. It's like, you can't fucking please everybody. Half of chat is like, hates having chat on the screen. So... Oh, you know what? Hold on, there's some blood cocktails down here that I want to grab. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> what boss am I doing first? Probably just gas going, I guess. Uh, we got the cold blood. We can actually upgrade our weapon. Oh, nice. Death, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, man. Oh, oops, wrong button. I don't... I'm trying to think where I want to go. I mean, I could... I could start the Eileen quest. Oh, you know, let me get these. Tay wrapped. How difficult do you think this run will be? I don't really know. I've never done <clears throat> extended form only. I don't think it'll be too bad necessarily, but. I think I would rather get like plus three before I. Um, I'm actually gonna die, maybe. I'm okay. God, the same is just bad. This is gonna be shit.
beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like reposting is going to kind of defeat the challenge, to be honest. Keep whipping. Is he gonna do it again? Okay. <laughs> it's like spam and jump attacks. Seems like R1 is the safer bet. Too bad. <laughs> it's not a uh, not great either, but you know. It's the transform attacks. Better than DS one. I don't know, man.
Where is 2B skin? I'm sorry, there's no 2B. Hello, Toxic. Grab the monocular this time. Just in case we need to look at anything up close. Alright, let's see if we can hit the, the big Molly. Oh shit, that was actually perfect. I was playing on a jailbroken PS4 Pro, yeah, but it was downscaled to 720p and generally fluctuated between 40 to 60 FPS. So it really wasn't that great of an experience. Hey, Salson. What? Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. Okay. They'll remake this for PS6 launch. Okay. <clears throat> Just gotta wait 10 more years. Yeah, there's just a floating statue up here. They never fixed it. I honestly don't know how this hasn't been fixed. There's actually a modder that fixed this. There's like barely any mods for this game, but somebody was so annoyed by this statue that they modded it and fixed it themselves. <laughs> oh, you fucking... Wow, that I got outplayed, dude.
I'm gonna grab the comfy torch. Honestly, dude, whatever. Fuck this guy. I have 20 blood... I have so many bloodstone shards. I'm just thinking I'm gonna want to upgrade the... Actually, yeah, I don't know what... I don't even need all this shit. Okay. You are a skilled hunter. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just a skip. As the best hunters are. I'm like thinking maybe I want to run through Yarnum, but there's nothing I need. <laughs> Running in circles, yeah. I have plus seven damage right now. <clears throat> Big scaling. All right. Hopefully we can do this skip. went too far. Okay. A little scary. Hey, Tay Rap, thank you for the five gifted subs. Yeah, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the extra fire. Might be good to grab. Oh, it's not that. Might be good to get the... So I can buy fire pine resin. Hey, Ribsicles, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, really? Maybe the YouTube servers are struggling this time. Damage is pretty good.
Saw a non-whip melee. Do you mean the R1? I actually thought I did a non-whip melee somehow, but I didn't transform it, so I don't know how that's possible. Oh, it was the rolling R1. Oh yeah, that's fast. The hitbox on that is actually... Like... It goes so far to the left. Yeah, I know it still does the whip. Or like, I mean, it's the extended form, guys. So like, what am I not allowed to use the extended form R1? Come on, rolling R1. <laughs> That's a little silly. Hello, I Very well met. Farewell. All right, we're gonna go get the doll armor. And we'll just sell that and then go do Amelia. Bro is a peach, what do you mean? I, I don't know if those quit out. I, quitting out's not going to save it, though, because there I felt like it's it's up above me. Uh, hold on. I don't really need the twin shards that badly, but I'm just curious. Will the... Like, the lizard isn't... I don't think it's lost, but I'm actually not sure. Item spawns just like the quit out. I don't know. I remember there was like one run. Maybe they fixed it or something. I, I swear. I, I have a memory where I was doing a speed run and I killed this lizard. And I like smashed it through the ground or something. And I quit out and then it was just, it was just like gone. I think you have to actually reload for it to come back. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube is lagging. I could like stop and restart the stream on YouTube. I don't I don't really know. Just come over to Twitch, guys. It's better there.
when YouTube is lagging, we kill YouTube stream. Yeah, well. Dude, I, it fucking triggered me the other day when my stream was, my, my stream was like dying on Twitch because of the multi-streaming and so many people on YouTube were like, just, why, just kill your Twitch stream. Just, just stream on YouTube the whole time. I'm like, these are fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm gonna Hello, Jake. Welcome, what? Very well. Okay, we got 2020. That's pretty good. You see a reduction of viewers on Twitch when you stream on YouTube? No, I don't really think so. Honestly, I think streaming on YouTube probably just brings more people over to the Twitch stream. I mean, I know that there's some people who like to watch on YouTube because of... I don't actually really know why, but... I guess it's because, uh, yeah, I guess the player is better. I don't know. You also want to play Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter's had like a resurgence lately or some shit. What? Is it because of the announcement? Is that why everybody's playing it again? Like what? What's been going on with Monster Hunter? Oh, is it? It's 10 bucks right now? Lobos asked me to play co-op with him, but I, I was busy with the marathon. is pretty good, honestly.
Alright. Maybe extended whip is better than I thought. Wasn't bad. I mean, it is plus three with fire paper, and I did level up, so... Also, it does do extra damage to beasts. I have come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. Lobos getting out of the lethal company addiction. Now, I just, I think he probably wants listen. people to play with. I'm sure if I asked him, he'd play I more. <laughs> we are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone. By the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. The whip in the DLC is more strength based. Uh, I'm not sure. We're gonna grab it though. the whip post orphan no I think you can get it without killing anything <laughs> dupe shards you can't dupe shards but it doesn't matter I'll have enough Am I gonna play Ghost Runner 2? Eh. I don't care that much about Ghost Runner 2. I mean, the game looks fun, but I'm not. Not too worried about it. No Shadow of the Colossus. I was thinking about it, but I'm a little. I'm a little tired today. I just I wanted to just finish with Bloodborne and take it easy today. Map. Can still dupe shards in current patch. love to know because you might I mean if there's a way to dupe shards on current patch then that would be pretty big for the speed run so I don't you have some like forbidden tech or something Probably online shenanigans. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, she's up here. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Farewell, good hunter. I don't know what I want to level up. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of awkward because the threaded cane scales with dex, and then what the beast cutter scales with strength. So I'm just like splitting myself thin by going for both. I don't know. Yeah, I can already go to the DLC.
3,500 reward could be NG plus with Beast Cutter. There's already a reward for 3,500. It's on the screen. <laughs> I didn't level up. I know. Cursed Daphines. Their children, too. And their children forever true. Going to DLC early is scary. Well, we've got 20 HP, so we're uh, we're okay. We'll be okay. Don't be scared. Although I don't have any blue elixirs. Which is not great. Larks have fell down the stairs? What? Like IRL? Sounds okay right now. Larsa. Lawrence already? No, we're not fighting Lawrence yet. Don't kill me. Alright, so when I run through this DLC chat, I just pick up all the weapons, because all the weapons are actually worth quite a bit. Also some beast blood pellets we can get here. Forgot the beast cutter. You forgot to watch the stream closely. <laughs> what chat? He's like telling me I forgot something. I, yeah, that, I always hate when people like backseat and they don't even know if they're right about what they're saying. It's the most annoying shit. Because it makes me like doubt myself sometimes if I'm unsure. Or rather, I like think I'm sure and then somebody, people start saying like, one guy will say something and then chat starts parroting it. Please. 
please, no. Yeah, the DLC enemies do a lot of damage. We're just running through here for upgrade materials. Unfortunately, in Bloodborne, there's a lot of, like... I do kind of wish that the upgrade materials were set up in a... Uh, there's, like, a lot of running around that you end up doing... Early on. At least when you know the game. If I want to use two weapons, I need a lot of materials as well. Free pants. <clears throat> Why not set up a region lock run? Because the game just doesn't really work like that. Doing a quick little ladder warp here, chat. Yeah, basically, if you press L1... Try to do it. If you press L1 and X, like if you transform your weapon and press X at the same time, you can glitch the game into thinking your last save location is at the ladder. Pretty useful. Uh, it's useful in the speedrun for a few things. How do you know it works? Your character will like snap to the ladder, but won't actually go down it. Getting there. <laughs> Can't you actually revive this guy with the Madara's whistle or some shit? I, dude, I, I had the most cursed thing happen to me when I, I did a run of this game where I only used the Madara's Whistle, and the witches... Is that... Do we have a, do we have a command for that clip? There was a third witch. Like, 
Okay, I killed one witch, dropped down, and then went to kill the second one, and then I got grabbed by another witch. And this was all in a span of like five or ten seconds. So it's not like it took too long. Okay. I mean, I could just open up my VOD of the Whistle Run. It should be in there. Okay, we're gonna sell the weapons we picked up. Do not sell the Beast Cutter, though. Yeah, it's basically just like opposite scalings. It's kind of awkward. I mean, we could maybe do the air rune glitch on this run and get like a billion levels. Could try. I don't know. <laughs> some cum. Yeah, do some cum chalice. <laughs> I don't know, man. This moveset is definitely slower. It does do more damage. most things yeah but I mean I'm not this isn't a casual playthrough I'm just fighting bosses <laughs> it's not like it really matters Honestly, yeah I'll just buy more HP I, I'm gonna buy more vials we're gonna need a lot later I, I don't know my stats are okay I guess we still... Use a Migdalen arm? That's not really a whip, my man. Eh, Migdalen arm is decent. Uh, okay, we, we gotta run through the woods. Gotta go through the woods. Stat requirements in Bloodborne are pretty negligible. There's no two-handed bonus, either. Oh, jeez. It's the best weapon in this game. I actually don't know if Sock Cleaver is necessarily the best. I think Ludwig's Holy Blade might be better with, like, fully kitted thrust gems, but...
Because you, you can get the, ch you can get in the chalice dungeon. You can get thrust gems that go up to like thirty-five percent or something. And the charge R two is a thrust, so. Yeah, you can get like plus 120% damage on a thrust attack with all the gems. It's pretty insane. Oh. Oops. Not used to going through this direction. Uh, so there's a gem we want to get up here. Pretty good gem. Not that one. Is it this one? Yes. So this gem gives 9.1% attack up and it's triangle slot. It's a very good early game gem. Hey, Kiraga, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Thank you very much. And ASX, thank you for the 53 months as well, man. We could have done wolf skip, but I feel like I always do wolf skip. I didn't want to do it this time around. It also breaks quest lines, so... R2 does have some pretty crazy range. Yeah, wow. Moonlight Sword can be better than Cleaver if you get specific RNG on certain bosses. I mean, I, that makes sense. Just because you can fit in so many more, like, attacks in between combos and stuff. Wait, why am I going over here? How did you worm your way in here? Hey, Ticklish Elmo, thank you for the 14 months. And Dr. Toxic, thank you for the prime sub, man. Thank you, thank you. How long does it take to do Bloodborne usually? Uh, depends. How many twin shards do I have? 17? I 
think I upgraded them both to plus four, right? Oh, Jesus. So I need, what, 26? Twin shards? Gotta get the poison throwing knives, very important. Where's the threaded cane at? Well, we're using the beast card. No thief mini boss? Huh? What? The aberrant beast? Oh. No, I'm not going to try to kill that guy right now. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I, I feel like the cane is definitely better than the beast cutter just because it's faster, but. so slow yeah I know there's enough materials for both I know oh god my, my other monitor keeps turning off Just because I'm on console, so the PC doesn't detect any, like, activity. Yeah. Yeah, I don't- I'm not really gonna be able to get 50 strength and 50 skill, so... Kinda have to commit to one or the other. A glow, thank you for the 32 months. I do not. I mean, I don't really care. I don't. I don't really care for. Whoever that is. <laughs>
No, I mean like I know it's I know I, I've heard of the person, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm just a big old nerd. I listen to like game music now. That's I mean that's not I I do still listen to some. To some stuff, but. And I, I need some, like, coffee. I bet I'm a Swifty. No. <laughs> I had a friend in high school, though, who would always fucking listen to Taylor Swift. He's in my chat sometimes. Adam, are you still here? Getting called out. <laughs> it's not even, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. I mean, I don't think Taylor's, like, she's fine. There's a reason she's so popular. It's not my kind of music, but. There's game OSTs that are really good. There are. People like what they like. Who cares? Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Alright, this is actually going to be kind of shitty. I didn't even see her spawn. Did I see her over there? Oh, that is so perfect, actually. Actually, the other one should be here. Maybe? Hey, she's dead! Stop that! Domingo, you were watching my RE7 run? My favorite games to speedrun? I don't know. I like speedrunning a lot of different stuff. I kind of miss having a game to like grind. I just, there isn't really any game that I've wanted to run lately, to tell you the truth.
Hey, Aru Arula, thank you for the four months. I just, I don't want to go back. I don't really, I don't really want to run a Souls game again, to tell you the truth, chat. At least not, like, I, I would run Elden Ring again if, L if DLC comes out, but I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't really care to, like, go back to the games at the moment. Like before Elden Ring came out, I ran every single Souls game again. <laughs> so. Or I don't know if it was every Souls game, but I ran a lot of them. No are you running that could be interesting. I'll be honest, are you runs are like they're fun for about a month and then they get really old because the run you start resetting over like five second mistakes. RE runs just get optimized so fast, and there's really no, like... Like, the route gets established in a week, and then nothing changes. And that's... that's it. <laughs> like, there's... there's not much room for routing potential in the games. Except for... I mean, I, there's some... some of them have a bit more routing potential, like RE4 Remake with the treasures and stuff, but the games are very linear, so... That was close. I thought I died there. <laughs> I'm get. I'm just God. I haven't fought a boss in so long. Just been running around. I need to go fight shadows. I just, I can't help myself. It's like, I have the knowledge. I'm gonna need to run through these areas anyways. I killed witches. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, witches is a little forgettable. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard not to want to run through these areas early on when you know, like, if you go into the DLC and you go through Kanehurst, you just become so much more powerful for, like, Shadows and Rom. But, honestly, after Rom, then you can start getting a ton of really good gems, and I feel like it doesn't really matter much after him. Thank <laughs> you. 
go to Kanehurst early for the drippy armor. Yeah, the armor is nice. chunks do I have? Six? I mean, it's probably good to grab all the chunks here in case I want to upgrade another weapon, if I want to go for the cane as well. I'm gonna grab- I'll grab him. I don't know. I feel like Beast Cleaver might be kind of annoying to use for some bosses. We'll see, though. Yeah, I'm gonna do the DLC. Wish this castle was bigger for exploration. Yeah, I think like a few extra side rooms would have been nice. I love Kanehurst though, still. I, it's a cool area. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, Stormvale Castle is really well done, but it's also like not really fair to compare Kanehurst to Stormvale. Stormvale is like I mean, the whole scope of Elden Ring is just so much bigger in general, I guess. Alright, we're gonna sell... Evelyn and the Rider Polish. Welcome, what very well. Then. hunter hat more I don't like the top hat that much maybe it's because we use it in the speed run so, so much but uh, all right expected a cane run I mean they're both whips so There is a hat for that armor, yeah. You get, it's before um, Logarius. Free 7,000 ruins. Blood Echoes. <laughs> Why do they gotta change the damn name every game? <laughs> uh, I upgraded the... Okay, yeah, we've, we don't even need to pick up more Twin Shards. Is this the last game? Yeah, I'm... I'm a little tired from the marathon so far. It's been a lot of fun, but I I need like a day off soon. I haven't I feel like I haven't taken a day off in like 
quite a while now. This operation was my idea. Yeah. That's your point. <laughs> Will I play the new Monster Hunter game? Uh, I mean, it's coming out in 2025, but yeah. I will. Every time on that is so fucking bad, it's insane. Okay, guys. I just wanted to do some, like... Oh, no. I just wanted to do some cool multi-hits, man. Is that so much to ask? Show. Is my bitrate dying? I never noticed the snakes having low FPS. Probably because I'm focusing on the boss. Yeah, there's two different types of whips. There's a strength whip and a dex whip. I'm using the strength one. What's up, Brown? Yeah, I mean, the run's not... I went out of my way to level up quite a bit, so... It's not too bad.
Okay. I mean, it's not a one cycle, but I'll take it. Hey, Ellen, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much, Ellen. Armor is modded? No. Come, will I come back to OSRS for the new sailing skill? Is that is sailing actually going to be a thing, finally? Hello, Ascending. Maybe. We'll see. If I do go put back to OSRS, I don't know if I would be streaming it, though. <laughs> hey, Nichka, thank you for the two months. And BHRZ, thank you for the prime set. How far did I get in an OSRS? Uh, I soloed all the raids except TOB. I soloed Cox and got a Tebow. Did a solo 500 TOA. What does any of this mean? Yeah, sorry, only nerds can understand. I still don't have Infernal Cape, though. I was gonna do it, but then I got... I don't know, I was just lazy. It's like... Welcome, what? Very well. Okay. You know what, we still actually get a decent amount of damage from leveling up skills, so it's not too bad. Speedrun Inferno, you need to beat it in the first place to do that. <laughs> Speedrunning OSRS. I did like the quest speedruns or whatever. That was kind of fun. For a little bit. <laughs> I didn't try to go for like a record or anything though. I was just doing them so I could get the big stupid clock. Uh, alright. Oh, you know what? Let's go... Let's go do Parl. Oh wait, am I even gonna be able to do this? You know what, we might just run we might just run through Yahargul normally. I don't know if I wanna try to do the skip with this weapon. Oh yeah, poor Cleric Beast. I should have fought him early on. He's just gonna get dumped on now.
It's not that I forget Cleric Beast. I mean, I guess you could say I do. I mean, I always kill him by the end of the run, but... I think I can hit the dogs from up here. What? Yeah, it is, it is definitely satisfying to do a lot of damage to him. I agree. Alright, I'll activate the elevator and then we'll go do Parl. <laughs> My favorite non-whip weapon. Oh... I don't know, my favorite weapon in this game might be like the Kirk Hammer or the. Oh, what's it? I like the Logarius wheel a lot too. I don't know, uh, there's a lot of really fun weapons. My favorite weapons are ones that have follow up charged R2, charge R2s. Because if you hit. A charge R2 backstab and then you do the follow-up you just fucking destroy you just do so much damage it's fucking crazy I don't have any fire paper looking but such an abusable boss yeah I mean the thing pe people just have to understand like Parl you can end up fighting Parl with a plus three weapon and that alone like they that being possible means that they have they have to make him easy or not they don't have to but they they don't want people to like go into an area early on in a game like this and get absolutely like shit stomped. <laughs> and even then, Parl will mess people up early on. Like he's 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 definitely quite strong. Isn't this weapon more of a mace than a whip? I mean... It extends like a whip, so... Seems like a whip to me, my man. I want to go get the chunk and bolt paper down here. You like being underpowered in Souls games? Yeah, I mean, me, me too. At least for a... F well... Oh. Fuck. To an extent. I also like being kind of... Like, in my first Elden Ring run, I definitely went... 
you know, I used all the buff items and I used everything I could get to make myself do more damage. Well, that's just because I know, like, it's just how you want to play the Souls games if you want to min-max. I did use Mimic on Millennia because I knew that fight would take me ages if I didn't. After she did that waterfall attack, I was like, I'm cheesing this shit. Because, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, when I fought Millennia, it was still early on. Nobody had, like, a strat for dodging waterfall. I mean, I... M my strat... Like, the thing about Millennia that pissed me off on my first playthrough is that if you do not know how to do the close range dodge, you just cannot play the fight ag aggressive. Um, at least with some w certain weapons. I would try to like stay close to her when I was fighting and I would just get screwed so badly because of it. Yeah, you can shield it, but she heals so much, it's like... And if your build isn't that good for her... You're just making it take so much longer. Yeah, I mean, Mimic... Summons can make Millennia harder. But I was using Blasphemous Blade, so... She just got, like knocked down a million times. Yeah, pre-nerf Mimic was also stronger too. Just keep spamming my heal here. Should switch to a different limb. I bought a lot of heals, chat. <laughs> hey, expired cheese. Thank you for the 14 months. And the end Merryweather, thank you for the five gifted subs. Alright, let's go for the lecture hall skip chat. Here we go! Actually, I don't want to do lec- never mind. I changed my mind. I want pat- I want Patch's stamina rune.
Now, wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? Oh, it pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a Miss Reckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, do you think Waterfowl is balanced? And all the stronger for I mean, if you know how to dodge it, sure, but like figuring out how to dodge it is not a very simple thing. It's not very obvious, in my opinion. Well, you weren't to know, and it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well, I say. I still really like Millennia, though. I never noticed that if you put the camera like super close to the torch you can hear it better. Imagine if FromSoft adds facial animations to their games. I th don't some of the characters in Elden Ring have facial animations, or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, it's not like super well done necessarily, but their mouths do move, I thought. Hey George, thank you for the 12 months, man. Plus 18% up attack. Let's grab the rest of the beast blood pellets. I was yeah, I mean, very well. I, I don't feel like the games need it that badly, I agree. Alright, we've got more than enough health at this point. Put on both of these. I think that Stam Rune should allow me to get an extra attack in now, which would be kind of nice. Yeah, I agree, Snatcher, for sure. Bloodborne. I mean, we still got a good amount left. We still got DLCs. And some side bosses. Yeah, I mean, we could maybe do the chalices. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Chalices are kind of a pain. Most of them are kind of boring. The later ones are cool, but...
grinding the ritual materials. Well, there's only one ritual material that you have to grind for. And you only need, like, one drop of it or something, or two. I, I don't know. It's, it's really not that bad. So, Kane's plus seven. We could get enough chunks to upgrade the Kane. I... I think I'll be fine using the Beast Cutter for everything, though. It's... Should be okay. Does this game run better on PS5? It does, yeah. PS5 is the best way to play this game at the moment. Uh, especially if you have an old firmware PS5. <laughs> if you have an old firmware PS5, then you can actually play... Uh, ...on 1080p, 120 FPS. I don't think the game actually supports resolutions past 1080p, but... Well, actually, I don't... Fuck, I don't know. Like, could, can you... Can you mod it to have, to do, like, 1440p 60fps? Maybe you could. Maybe you can. Do you need more than 1080p? Not really. I mean, 1080 looks pretty good. Did Digital Foundry get it to 4K 60? Uh, I don't know. I thought that they recorded 60 FPS footage and then used video uh, AI upscaling to put it to 4K. Well, old firmware allows you to jailbreak your PS5. Ah, cars. Well, some say cosm. Do you hear our prayers? No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No How easy is it to find an old firmware PS5? Anymore. I don't think it's very easy. They're like a thousand bucks. <laughs> but I, there's some listed on eBay. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, for, like, as a... You know, for the for the casual souls enjoyer, I totally understand not wanting to do that, but for me, it's definitely worth it. I've been I've been wanting to get one, so now I now I kind of like have an excuse. Okay, asshole. Wait, can I hit him through the wall? I 
Alright, bait it out first. Stop playing like a noob. Okay, I think strafing that to the left is a lot worse. God damn you, Miko, you're being such a... Even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. Alright, I want to kill this. Dude, lock on! There's a moon ruin down here, which will give us 20% extra runes. I want to get it, but I'm scared. Please don't kill me. No, don't... Ch you right where I want you, Miko. Ansimo, thank you for the sub, man. And Rakuyo, thank you for the three months. Jordy, thank you for the prime sub, man. God. I saw the funniest clip of Mikolash. Um There's a there's a clip chat of Mikolash actually running into this pathway. He ran into this <laughs> He ran down this pathway, dropped into the room, and then teleported away and softlocked the player. <laughs> At least I think that's what happened. I don't know. It was uh, he did for I know for a fact he ran in the room. <laughs> it was like the most cursed thing. I've never seen Miko do that. Oh shit. Ooh, I've got the grave guard armor. Oh wait, Hunter is actually better. Hmm. 
Except for the helmet, I guess. Stats don't matter. Frenzy resist does for these guys. Because I kind of want to kill them on the off chance that I get a better gem. slow, man. Why is it so slow to use that item? Pause champ. Eight oh yeah. HP gradually depletes. I don't really like that. <laughs> it's only flat minus seven. Yeah, but it's like every second. Uh, actually, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I mean, I do have like 900 HP. It's like... I think I would die in like two minutes with that equipped. But if you have gems that give you damage with full HP, that... Kind of problematic. There was nothing I could do there. Actually, actually, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I could have rolled, but I would have died to the frenzy proc because I was getting hit by the random damaging projectiles, which was putting me below the HP threshold. So I had to heal. Come on, baby. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's so triggering, dude. I was looking at fucking chat. I didn't think it... That was building up for so long, dude. I'm pretty sure it's because I got the fucking slow death animation because I smashed her like a pancake to the floor. Oh, this game, dude. Uh, I did not order one yet, Lance. Yeah, I really want to order one.
there's a new exploit coming soon? Oh, really? Why is it? Attack versus beasts down. I mean, that's okay. We can use it for some bosses. It's twenty, almost 20%. Not even opening the chest. It's just the choir bell. I don't need that. I uh, don't need arcane and gems either. Need the blood rock. Sell for echoes. Does he even sell for like anything? HP drain really isn't that bad, to be honest. Mr. Dale Bro, thank you for the sub, and Baz Goro, thank you for the six months. Dude, even with E scaling and skill, you actually get like a surprising amount. Kind of shocked. Farewell. Gifted sub Bazgoro as well. Thank you, man. Get a cracked PS5 with 2B model. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got you too hooked on 2B, alright? You need to settle down. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I need to put on the 20% moon rune. Thank you for reminding me, I actually forgot. Twitching is kind of creepy when you see it up close. Rather rapturous. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put her out of her misery. An old numbing mess to the butt. Yo, dance! Hey, thank you for the hundred gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, man. For the cosplay. <laughs> we still have this. I'm, I'm still gonna be gifting a bunch of subs as well after we're done, chat. For the deaths. the sub goal after 3500 I I don't know if I'm gonna have a sub goal after that I want to hit him in the head You know, one thing I find strange in this game, though, is how expensive the the gate key is if you kill Cleric Beast. If you kill Cleric Beast, you can buy this, which allows you to access... Um, it basically allows you to skip uh, Blood Starved Beast, but it costs friggin' 10,000. It's, like, so expensive, because early on... I mean, Cleric Beast only gives 3,000 souls, uh, Blood Echoes. <laughs> Welcome. What? But I guess if you're killing Very a lot of well. stuff, maybe it's not as unreasonable. Farewell. Good. Oh yeah, let me uh, equip the Ruin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Dance, for the gifted subs, dude. Might be Ross, Zamba Farmer, Pharma, uh, Sadaman, and Venomous Salim. Thank you guys for the subs as well. All right, we're gonna go up to the healing workshop. What games? What game do you think I had the most deaths in? RE3 Remake definitely added quite a few last night. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 add, add a few. Classic DS2. Good 
Dude, that range is fucking wild. The last game has to be a muck. We already did a muck. I raided Trey last night, and he ended up doing a muck again. <laughs> I raided him like right as he was finishing a muck. And then I came back 20 minutes later, and he was doing a muck again. And I, <laughs> I think I think chat demanded more a muck or something. I don't know. Okay, so the backstep R2 should be a thrust attack. Uh, maybe not. Killing this guy through the wall might not be very easy. Can I jump attack? Through the Oh, yeah, I should. Oh, yeah, backstep R2 does go through the wall. Can't stop cheesing. <laughs> True. could get the gesture for the more for the third moon rune, I guess. Are you... Oh yeah, so chat, you used to be able to jump over that that uh, railing, by the way, where that brain sucker is, but they actually fixed it. They've, it's like one of the very few things that they ever fixed in this game, in terms of uh, you know, out of bounds. Well, not it's not even an out of bounds, just like parkour, I guess. Very strange. I don't know why they fixed it. it. Saves like barely any time. It makes me really sad that they fixed Moonlight Altar skip and Elden Ring. That was like such a good skip. Saves so much time on the way to Estelle.
I wanted to, I wanted to te- like see how far the char- the R2 backstep could go. Fuck, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that little shitter. They actually, there is a way to still do elevator skip to millennia on current patch, actually. And thankfully, it seems like a lot of people don't know about it, so maybe it'll actually fucking stay. Yeah, it's the butt the butt slam tech. He's told nine K people. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. Did I pick up? Oh. There they are. Wasn't I gonna take the day off? Yeah, but I didn't finish Bloodborne, so I'm not gonna take a day off in the middle of a marathon. I just went through Abriatus. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I need to just stick to R ones. R two's a little too slow. Or maybe I, I mean, maybe, uh, I, the butt strap will work if I just do R1s. It's my opinion on Liza P. It's the best Souls-like game, in my opinion, on the market right now. Neo 2, I, I just, I don't really, thi I don't consider Neo to be a Souls, like, I consider it to be like a, I don't even know what to call Neo, but it, I don't, I don't feel like it's a Souls. Like. I mean, the loot system is like Diablo, so...
classic. I'm not very good at fighting Apiratus from afar. You could, couldn't tell. Alright, fuck this, dude. dude. Oh my god, I'm, I've am i tried to roll every single one of these attacks and I've just been, like, slightly too late every fucking time. Oh my god. It's the worst Abraham's fight I've done in some time. Dude, like, how am I not fucking dodging that? Alright, I, I don't know. I, can, I cannot dodge this boss. I, I literally failed like 15 dodges in a row. I'm just, I'm trying, but fuck, I'm just. <laughs> I just press it as I get hit every fucking time. <laughs> I just want to hit, I want to hit her in the head. Doing the butt strat is so boring. I could have sworn I used to do Abriatus dodges locked down, but maybe unlocked is the way. I'm probably just misremembering. Right, where's my souls? The speed of this weapon is so tilting right now. <laughs> I feel like I can't fucking attack this boss. It's driving me fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> it's so slow. Should I just spam rolling R1s? Fuck, man. You fought her with the wheel? Dude, I fought her with the wheel, and I... I would rather use the wheel than this shit right now. I've killed her with the wheel in, like, 15 seconds before. I'm tired? No? I'm just making a mistake.
the the hitboxes are so. The hitboxes are so scuffed on the head when you're up close, it just doesn't actually work. That's so cringe. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking off this fucking health drain gem. This shit is actually really annoying me. I've already probably wasted like 15 heals having this stupid gem on. I would have also, I would have gotten like a stagger during that, but the whip, if, if you use the, if you attack with the whip up close, it just doesn't hit the head. It just goes straight through it and hits the body instead. So I warped the wrong. I really don't think heals being non-replenishable is that big of an issue. I think people are just stupid and, well, okay, maybe stupid. People are inconsiderate of their blood echo economy. I've seen people who will have 50,000 blood echoes and they'll be able to spend every single last bit on a level ups and then be like, oh, I gotta farm blood vials. Yeah, well, you could have just bought 40 instead of getting one more point in dex. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot to... I'm gonna try to fight at range here. Fight is fucking pain, bro. Actually. I 
just you can really feel the lack of uh, charge R2 here. You don't sound like you're having fun. God, I love when people tell me what I feel like or sound like. It's great. Double dupe. All right. Uh, get a bit more of these. All right. Well, we got the cane. We got some points in the cane now too. Welcome. Very well. Then. All right. Hmm. I'm just gonna get a bit more health. Okay, we still have wet nurse to do. Uh, we can go. Gonna go make contact chat. Honestly, I was thinking we might not make it to 200 deaths in this marathon, but now I'm not so sure. So yeah, we have to wait here a while. I think it takes a minute.
Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything in the game that actually, like, indicates that you should do that? I wasn't sure if there was any kind of, like, in-game hint, you know? Alright, well, we've got 50% more rune gain now. Not bad. Go do Wet Nurse, and we'll do Logarius, and then we'll... Uh, do DLC. Oh, we also have uh, Amygdala. Hey, Lobos. Today is the final day of the marathon, so if you want a lethal company again soon, I'm down. <laughs> I'm kind of wet. I'm hoping there's gonna be like a new update soon, though. Yeah, maybe ACOG. I mean, maybe he's just gonna stick to, like, holidays for the updates, but... I know he said he wanted to update it, like, pretty often. Yeah, I know. You've been doing Monhun. I would've joined you for Monhun, honestly, but... I've just been busy with the marathon. Dude, the rally of this is really bad as well. Like, it's, it's like, incredibly bad. Does this weapon have any redeeming qualities? Well, since I'm just using the whip form, uh, yeah, it's not great. I basically just can R2 and R1. <laughs> the quick attack is not a whip. Well, it's the whip form, so... It still extends a little bit when you do it, I think. Maybe it doesn't, but either way. It's the extended form. Uh, it's the beast cutter, yeah. Good hunter, get very well. Then. I'm actually gonna try to get a bit more stam. Uh, no, not DLC yet. We're gonna go do Amygdala. Hey, Remo, thank you for the seven months. Get the wheel? 
It's not. This is a, we're doing whip only, guys. Okay. <laughs> This isn't wheel only. You know, I... That actually... How many wheels are there? I know there's a wheel in DS1, DS3, and... Bloodborne. Wait, what wheel is there in Elden Ring? Guys' wheel. I mean, I guess it has wheel in the name, but I don't even feel like I don't even really consider that. I'm thinking like a bone wheel, kind of, but I mean, I guess technically it has wheel in the name. <laughs> If you go to Amygdala with a plus 10 weapon, you're just gonna wreck him, honestly. Doesn't matter what weapon, really. It's good for hitting the head, though. I do agree. Level 69. Nice. The closest you can get to a wheel in DS2 is the Scythe of Wands spinning R2. Mm. I think doing like a wheel only marathon or maybe not marath like I mean I guess you can call it a marathon would be fun. Stu Stu like DS1, DS3, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, I guess. Hey, Fatty Cop, thank you for the 58 months. No DS2. I just don't- there's no, like, bone wheel in DS2. as a wheel. I mean... <laughs> eh. I wish that the arcane version of the Logarius wheel was, like, actually more worthwhile to use. Because it's such a cool... It's, it's so fucking... It's, like, such a cool weapon when you spin it up. But it's so bad. <laughs> like, it's never... I don't know if it's ever worth using arcane on the wheel. Like, it, it drains your, uh... It drains your health so fast. Oh. 
Is this the last game of the marathon? Yeah, I was gonna do extra bonus games today, but I didn't wanna... I don't know, I've just- I've been streaming a lot. I figured it would be nice just to relax and finish with Bloodborne. Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, maybe we could do Shadow of the Colossus as like an extra game. I, I would maybe do Shadow of the Colossus as the final, the final game of the marathon as usual. That sucks. That fucked him up. That hit, that hit hit him real hard. If you do Shadow of the Colossus, you'll donate a grand. I don't believe you, but... fun moment. <laughs> no, I, I think I'd be open to doing Shadow of the Colossus. It's, I mean, like, it's, it's a fairly short game, at least. And we're already on the PS5 anyways. Alright, chat. It's time, chat. Don't worry, chat. That there's more. There's more. Be free! <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't seen this, Lobos. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> All right. 
right, perfect. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miyazaki. Disappointed, Lobos. It's. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Not Lobos. <laughs> He's disappointed I didn't spend more time. I'm installing Thick Mod for Lethal Company next time. Nice. Yeah, you'll distract all the enemies for us. Music play a bit. I don't think my damage is gonna be that good, so I think it's okay. Nice. I have damage down versus beasts right now. I didn't mean to repost! Oopsies.
Look at him walking over here. <laughs> what? Good hunter, have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, his sword's worth like 50,000 blood echoes, chat. That's a lot. I'm just gonna get the medallion piece right now. So we can save some load screens. Fight? Why, why would I fight those guys? I don't want to fight them. Kill all enemies marathon. God, that would take so long.
Okay, 021. Thank you for the prime sub. What's the cosplay gonna be? Uh, it's undecided yet. I'll let you guys know though when I, whenever I decide. It's a so guys, it's a Souls cosplay. To be ain't a Souls character. Also, you guys are like your obsession with two. What the? Not sub only. Or, well, you didn't have to go sub only. I put it in follower only, which I think probably would have been. Unless they were all following, in which case it would be. Shot it over my head. I mean, it stuns them. It's pretty nice. That could have been really bad. We're okay. Living failures give such a small amount of souls, though. It's feels kind of bad. Oh yeah, chat. I saw. I, I was looking through the mod directory. I just got twelve thousand blood echoes from something. I was looking through the mod directory for. Uh, or the Nexus mods for Bloodborne. And somebody actually added a quality of life mod to Bloodborne that allows you to warp from, uh, warp to, like, specific lamps. Ba basically, they added, like, a UI menu to the lamp. <clears throat> I don't know how well it works, but... Seems pretty nice, honestly. What did I just pick up? I picked up a shield, which I'm gonna sell. A lot, well, I'm sure a decent amount of you guys know this, but like, it selling items is one of the best ways to get like a ton of extra levels. Like this Holy Moonlight Sword, 56,000. The Lock Shield, 42,000. This Knight's Armor that I'm wearing is worth 10,000. The armors, there's like armors in the DLC that sell for 5,000 each. There's 
the Mensis cage, the Graveguard armors, like another 12k. Gammon away. Very well. Yeah, doll sets worth thirty five thousand. Selling is more worth it in Bloodborne than any other Souls game, yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of interesting. I feel like it would be cool if in the Souls games there was more item like not not a ton of items, but it, it would be cool if there was some that were worth like tons. Kinda like in Bloodborne. an Elden Ring, I think the most expensive thing you could sell is a few thousand. A corpse should be left well alone. Ainrun sold his blood in the store. Oh, the ritual blood? The secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will kill you now. You sell the boss weapons by using or selling the remembrances. Yeah, that's true. Curiosity. Stop doing that attack. Okay, she did it again. I guess I should just go for the follow-up R2 more. This just flattens her. Tracking on that is shit. All right. 
right, not bad. Used a lot of heals, but <laughs> it's okay. The guy that room promised to get 50 subs if I killed the sharks. Oh yeah. I remember. Somebody else ended up gifting the subs because they felt bad. That was nice. What happened? Uh, I was doing a blood level 4 run and somebody said that they would give gift 50 subs or 100 subs or something if I killed the sharks. And then I killed them and, well, yeah, I guess what happened. Hey, bot. Uh, for the two shot. Thank you for the sub. Abandon him in Hobbs chat. Oh, yeah. I think I did. Because <laughs> I, think, I think I saw him chatting in, like, Hobbs stream or something before. I don't know. I can't remember, actually. Very well, then. Th oh, thank you for the five bucks. Uh, Kuro from Sekiro Cosplay. That's kind of weird, champ. Bring the rain, thank you for the 28 months. <laughs> Alucard, thank you for the six months. Yeah, I'm doing moon presents. Oh. Hmm. Okay then. <laughs> Supposed to roll off? That eh, doesn't matter actually. But I might have landed in the wrong spot. I'm just gonna do the no quit out version. It's faster RTA anyways. Slap, thank you for the five gifted subs. Is it too much to the left that kills you? Dude, I, I can't remember. This, doing this, this always happens to me. Like, 
I was kind of surprised I didn't die last time. Right is safe. Hey, D Stan, thank you for the eleven months. Hey, Sh uh, Shitsky, thank you for the five gifted. Yeah, Raydance. It's like, the mod is nice, but chat being booba spam 24-7 is not. I like when chat's actually talking about stuff and not just... cooming constantly. more levels Gammon away I'm watching on YouTube Very you come welcome. on over oh well, thanks man do appreciate it Farewell. I just want a lot of health against the orphan <laughs> heals are percentage based in this game so like, the damage is going to be bad either way. My camera work with the 2B mods was good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank you for the gifted and the, and the sub as well. Well, we're going to do Garmin and Moon Presence last. I guess, I don't know, I just, I'm used to doing it in this order because of uh, the speed run, I guess. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna add any other incentive past this anti. I don't really have any ideas anyways. The discount on gifted subs and everything is over now, so Or I think it is it is, right? I think it ended this morning.
Oh, wow. I thought I was going to get hit there for sure. God, the rally on this weapon is so fucking bad. It's, a it's actually kind of insane how bad the rally is. Kind of fucked up. Not even close. Really clean fight. Man, doing Orphan without backstabs is so... Orphan Orphan AI is also so weird to me. I feel like in Phase 2, there will be moments where he'll give you a bunch of really good attacks in a row, and then he'll go minutes doing, like, the ape shit attacks. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's tied to like an HP threshold or what. Well, like there, I had a moment where phase two was going all right there. Like when he, the, he has one attack where he jumps in the air. Ah, um, and you can get a, like a really child, easy backstab on that. And then also the ocean. when he like smashes in curves. front of him like four times in a row. A bottomless sea. That's Accepting good attack, all too. that there is and can be.
Yeah, it's kind of weird that you can't charge R2 with these weapons for whatever reason. Farewell. You got someone to my world and beat him on one of your streams? Oh yeah, the viewer run. Oh yeah, I have the beast gem on, so I'm gonna have a bit less damage for this fight. That's okay, though. Mortal Shell after Bloodborne. I really don't like Mortal Shell that much, to tell you the truth. Most of the boss fights are kind of like... mid. And the final boss is like annoying as fuck. Especially if you're like rushing through the game. Like, I mean, I thought Mortal Shell was okay. I, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's, like, terrible or anything, but... Just the bosses were kind of... They almost felt, like, unfinished. Well, actually, I think the final boss in Mortal Shell is the best boss in the game, but just that that fight is actually, like, kind of hard and has some, like, pretty annoying mechanics. Oh yeah, it's this weapon is serrated as well, right? So I guess we can get a damage bonus anyways. I was expecting him to transform and then he didn't. He was just delaying it though, so we could do that. Stuck in his ass. Send me with the fire farts.
<laughs> hey, Sir Rubly, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. Oh, fuck. Alright. Goodbye, Lawrence. Hey, Devian, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, man. Chalice time? No, we're not gonna do the chalices. We're just gonna do Garmin and Moon Presence, and then maybe we'll do Shadow of the Colossus? I don't really feel like doing the chalices. Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Ducked under it.
Jaren. Thank you for the 16 months, dude. Thank you very much, man. This might be like the worst rally weapon in the entire game though. And it doesn't even really make sense because it's strength, so you'd think it would be decent. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Not even two hundred deaths. Sorry, I'm I'm debating whether or not I want to do Shadow of the Colossus. Marathon slowly turns to all games I ran marathon again. Yeah, I mean honestly true. I don't know. I, I could do Shadow of the Colossus, but I'm I am like a bit worn worn out. Maybe we can hold off and then the next marathon we'll do it and it'll be a it'll be a bit more special that way. I don't know, it's been a really fun marathon. Chat, chat's gonna... Chat's gonna ask for endless games anyways. No, you're sad, don't be sad. It's 
sad when a fun marathon ends. <laughs> Listen, everything, everything good must come to an end. The last time I did that super long marathon, people were like, people did not want it to end. It was like, oh, do you have any games left, dude? After like, <laughs> I'm like 80 hours into the marathon. <laughs> no, it's it's been a ton of fun. I don't know. I like I I was kind of hoping that the marathon would be over yesterday, anyways. And honestly, I do Shadow of the Colossus every. I I have ended like almost every mar any marathon where I'm doing like extra bonus games or variety games, and I'm not doing you know just Souls for example. I uh I always end with Shadow of the Colossus, so. It's, uh, I think it's all right to skip out on it for one, one time. Tradition, yeah, but... That's okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just like, I'm really, I'm, I'm a bit worn out, chat. Hey, Divi. Thank you. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support throughout the marathon. You guys uh, are the reason it went went on this long. So I really do appreciate it, everybody. Thank you guys for being here for the past... Uh, how, how, how many days was the marathon? Five? Five days? I don't know, it was either like five or six days, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, chat, I'm going to... There's some stuff I gotta take care of tonight anyways, so it's. I think it's for the best to call it here. Um, I'm gonna look into the old firmware PS5 tonight, see if I could find one at a reasonable price. And, uh... Yeah, so hopefully whenever I get that, I'll set that up and then we can do some uh, 60 FPS Bloodborne rando randomizer and mess around with, uh, I think there's like, a f I haven't looked through all the mods for Bloodborne, but there's probably some new, s new stuff, I imagine. So I, I don't know. I, in fact, I should have asked okay. Lance when he was here Old earlier Simon today, sealed. but, uh, nah, so I used to have a modded PS4 Pro, and I did well, randomize around it, but it would crash all the time. Whatever happens, now, you may think I'm not sure if that's an issue with the game or the hardware. It was, it, it would happen because there was too many enemies loaded into the game, I think. So... I guess I'm kind of hoping that PS5 will solve that uh, that problem, but I I don't know. Like it might just be an issue with Bloodborne, in which case it's not going to make a difference. I really don't know. So used to do a lot of randomizer and it didn't crash that often. Well, it crashes in Forbidden Woods and in the lecture hall. In Forbidden Woods, it can, if you're unlucky, it can crash like five times. And the thing is, it, it, it will crash every time. Like, 
Basically, if you want to play Bloodborne Randomizer on PS4, what you have to do is uh, you have to roll multiple <gasps> seeds you and then put all the different hunter. randomizer seeds on your hard drive. So if the game crashes, you can just switch to a different randomizer seed. Uh, that's really the only way around it, because, yeah, it'll just... You're basically bricked. All right, let me turn on some uh, some music. Sorry, I changed the song. It's another good song, though. <laughs> All right, chat, I'm gonna find somebody to raid. Uh, thank you guys again so much for being here for the marathon. It's been a blast. Sorry I'm, I'm not doing Shadow of the Colossus. I know, I know some of you guys are probably bummed about that, but when we do shit, like, uh, I'll be, I just, honestly, it's been five months since I did my last marathon, and some of the games, I still feel like I kind of didn't even really want to do RE4 remake in this marathon because I just I did it in the last marathon and I, don't know, I didn't want it to be just like exact. And here, oh fuck, it's too loud. It's too loud. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well. I did, uh, I did my last marathon back in July. Alright, who are we going to rate? I don't know how much longer Larks is going to stream though. Bach is never gonna play Hollow Knight, dude. It makes me sad. I feel like I know Bach too well. Okay, sorry, Chad. I'm like, <laughs> there's a few people I want to raid. Got it. I, I, I have like freaking decision paralysis, man. It's like a serious problem. I don't know who I want to raid. <laughs> I can't 
shoes. Oh, I didn't gift the subs, dude. How did nobody else, like, mention that more often? Guys, yeah, I gotta give this up. Did it just say I've gifted a total of zero subs? What? That's not true. I have gifted 5,240 subs in my channel chat. Alright, I'll just gift 200. Nice clean 200. Dodge 3,500 plus subs, oh no. Chaos. Buddy. Alright, you know what, I will- uh, I'll give Larksa a raid. She's playing Hitman. I want to support Larksa. If you guys want to go watch some Hitman, you can say hi to Larksa. I don't know how much longer she's gonna stream, maybe just an hour or two, but I'm sure she'll pass the raid on to, uh, to Bach or somebody else anyways, so. Anyways. Have a great rest of your night, chat. Thank you all, again, for joining me for the marathon. Thank you for all the support. You guys have been great. Sorry I got a little frustrated at times during the marathon. I mean, I try, I feel like it was pretty, I was pretty chill for the most part. A few, a few people got to me at some points, but. <laughs> I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. Maybe I'll do a little bit of Lethal Company. Um, there's a challenge run that I want to do in Elden Ring as well, and I still need to finish Vice City. And I will also let you guys know soon uh, whatever I'll do for the cosplay. We'll probably do like a challenge run, or maybe we'll save the cosplay for like the next marathon I do. But I don't want you guys to have to, like I don't want to. I want to do it fairly soon. You can't hear me? What do you mean? <laughs> Alright. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, chat.